They have to turn around. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome to the Senior Recognition Award Ceremony. My name is Heather Novak, and I am one of the assistant principals at Jackson Memorial High School. To begin our ceremony, I would like to introduce Philip Williams, one of our senior class executive board members. Please stand and join us in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Philip. I would like to take this opportunity to thank our special guests for attending this evening. Board of Education President, Mr. Michael Walsh, Superintendent of Schools, Mrs. Pormilli. The Jackson Memorial High School Administration, Mr. Diogenio, Principal. Mr. McDevitt, Assistant Principal. Mr. Tarver, Assistant Principal. Mr. Panicu, our Athletic Director. <laughs> and Mrs. Kafara and Mrs. Musavi are faculty advisors to this senior class. Tonight is a celebration. It is a night set aside to celebrate and acknowledge this distinguished group of young leaders and their achievements. They have made both their school and their families proud. Seniors, we have gathered you here to honor your accomplishments, your hard work, and your dedication. You have excelled in academics and athletics. 
You all exhibit such qualities that will help you achieve your goals and ensure your success in the future. Congratulations to all of you. I would now like to introduce Isabella Mahabir, our senior class vice president, who will share her student welcome address. Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight as we celebrate the outstanding academic achievements of every student in this room. Our dedication and motivation throughout our high school career has not gone unnoticed. We are a unique bunch as a high school experience that we never could have imagined took place. But even through the pandemic, we managed to persevere through the many challenges presented to us and displayed consistent excellence as we faced the academic rigor at Jackson Memorial High School. As our high school career is coming to an end, please take a moment to realize there is so much in which to be proud. I would also like to take a moment to acknowledge our parents that have supported and encouraged us to always do our best. In addition to our parents, I would also like to take a minute to acknowledge and thank our teachers who have provided commendable guidance and helped us get to where we are today and where we hope to go in the very near future. Without either of these groups, none of this would be possible. As Vice President of the Class of 2022, it is my honor to stand here shoulder to shoulder with my peers who never fail to amaze me as they are remarkable and exemplary students. Congratulations to my fellow graduates on achieving great success and paving the way for a bright future. Thank you. Thank you, Isabella. I would now like to ask the principal of Jackson Memorial High School, Mr. Eugenio, to come to the podium to share a few words. Thank you, Mrs. Novak, and welcome everyone. It's so nice to see everybody's smiling faces uh, live and in person again. Tonight we celebrate our most accomplished seniors from the class of 2022. My congratulations also to all of you. It's night, nights like this that we are all able to feel pride and accomplishment. And for most of you, most all of you in this room, you've had a 4.0 average for your entire career at Jackson Memorial High School. That's worth a round of applause and quite impressive. <laughs> Seniors, this year um, has been memorable for many of you, and I appreciate your hard work, your ability to refocus, the dedication, not only in keeping old traditions, but starting many new. The class of 2022 has helped to restart the high level of academic performance that's been a trademark at our school for more than 55 years. This group of talented members of this class also helped to regain a sense of normalcy here at Jackson Memorial. Our senior class officers were strong, a catalyst for the year as it started. They continued to work with our student council to plan exciting events throughout the school year. Our seniors of the month, our student athletes, our senior academic scholars all made the class of 2022 able to make their mark, and all of you have. The students with us tonight are examples of what's right about public schools. Each of you has challenged yourselves in a rigorous curriculum. You were successful not only in the state, but honored on the national level for your academic success. I'm excited to track your progress as many of you open the next chapter of your academic careers at colleges and major universities across this country. As you plan and pursue your careers, we hope that you'll use the skills that you developed in school to make our world a better place and help solve problems that lie ahead in the future. I think we can all agree that we share the comfort of knowing that these outstanding students with us tonight will be leaders in our future. Lastly, I would ask our seniors here tonight to thank your parents your grandparents and loved ones for guiding you, keeping you safe, and helping you to embrace education as a key to opening doors that will pave the way for your successful and positive futures. My congratulations again. Enjoy the evening. Thank you, Mr. Eugenio. At this time, I would like to ask Mrs. Permilli, Superintendent of Schools, to please come to the podium. Thank you. Welcome everyone. This time of the year is truly one of my favorite times of the years because of evenings like this. 
It's when we as educators get to look out onto the sea of bright faces and even brighter minds and really see why we do what we do and the importance of it. I am honored to be here to welcome you and your parents and to recognize the ways you've excelled at the educational journey we have laid out for you. You took it seriously and it shows. To all the family members, teachers, and administrators who helped our students achieve the academic success we will be celebrating tonight, thank you all. To our students, I hope you all take a moment to enjoy the enormity of your accomplishment and to be truly proud for what it took to get here tonight. Our curriculum is not easy, and times have been challenging. To excel shows your determination, grit, and work ethic. You are truly deserving of this academic honor you are receiving tonight. It is such a pleasure to share this evening with you and to congratulate you on your commitment to academic excellence. To witness your success is to see the entire mission of the Jackson School District put into action, and I couldn't be more proud of you. So congratulations, enjoy the night, and enjoy all the adventures that are awaiting for you in your future. You deserve it. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Permilli. I would like to introduce Brick McCown, our senior class president, who will be speaking for the class of 2022. Good evening, everyone. I am Brooke McCown, and I've had the privilege of serving the class of 2022 president for the past four years. Thank you for attending the 2022 Senior Special Awards Recognition Ceremony. Tonight is the night where we honor those who have achieved greatness academically by maintaining a high honor roll 4.0 GPA average for all four years, along with giving recognition of those who have exemplified excellence in specific departments and those who demonstrated high achievements in athletics. No one can deny our class is full of extremely hard workers, overachievers, and incredible leaders. We have not only exemplified excellence in the classroom, but resilience through our ability to adjust in difficult situations. As young adults, we understood that life is full of challenges, changes, and plenty of situations that may seem unfair. With that being said, we refuse to let any obstacles that stood in our way stop us from carrying on old traditions and starting new ones. As a class, we created new traditions that we hope will be our legacy one day. Some of these traditions include the senior walk, the sunrise, the send-off, and personalizing of the senior parking spots, while all maintaining past traditions like homecoming, powder puff, and Mr. JMHS. Through all this, we also had high achieving academic excellence. On behalf of my fellow classmates and I, we want to thank our teachers, staff, and families for guiding all of us in the right directions. If it weren't for all of you, we wouldn't be here tonight. You all hold the strong foundation where we built our individuality and became the young adults we are today. As this school year comes to an end, there is no doubt in my mind, we, the Jack Memorial High School Class of 2022, will not only succeed in our future endeavors, but thrive. The awards given tonight are just a spotlight of your hard work. Use tonight as a sign of celebration and motivation to carry on what you have accomplished here to wherever life takes, takes you. Thank you. Thank you, Brooke. We will now begin our presentation of awards. I would like to bring up Mr. McDevitt, who will announce the Department Academic Awards. Thank you, Mrs. Novak. Let's hand out some hardware. Sometimes, success in a class is not necessarily only measured in test grades and grade point averages. There are those classes in which students demonstrate mastery of the course content by other means, whether it is through being a class leader, doing outstanding work on projects and activities, or helping others that may be struggling. There are students that distinguish themselves by excelling beyond the grade book. Each year, department members at Jackson Memorial High School are asked to select seniors that exemplify this kind of success within their department courses. Teachers nominate students from the classes 
And after sometimes lengthy discussions, we'll put it that way, a recipient is selected. We often hear of how teachers have a lasting effect on their students. With this award, we celebrate the reverse of this, when students have a lasting effect on their teachers. Congratulations to the following department award recipients. When we call your name, please come forward to receive your award. From the English department, Tom Wadowski. From Family and Consumer Science, Madison Skrosky. Take your time. From the Social Studies Department, Kayla Sapuli. From the Air Force Junior ROTC, Ryan Cass. From the Mathematics Department, Nicholas Tazi. From the computer science area of the mathematics department, Jason Casper. <laughs> From the science department, Vincent Cancellari. From the French area of the World Language Department, Catherine Yalch. From the Spanish area of the World Language Department, Sofia Carpintero. From the Italian area of the World Language Department, John Devine. From the Business Department, Noel Powers. From the Technology Education Department, Lauren Lucky. From the Physical Education Department, David Petten. From the Art Department, Marissa Mobley. From Instrumental Music, Samuel Roussel. And from vocal music, Rachel Kroom.
Okay, again, congratulations to all of the Department Award recipients tonight. I would now like to ask our senior class advisors, Mrs. Kafara and Mrs. Musabi, to please come to the podium to recognize the award recipients. Award recipients. We would like to present the students who have achieved high honor roll with a minimum of a 4.0 average for each of the six semesters and marking period one through five of their senior year. These students will receive a Jaguar statue engraved with Almaro, once a Jag, always a Jag. We would like now to recognize our senior, oh no. Nicholas Afanador. Haley Alou. Amanda Ammerman. Emily Anderson. Morgan Morgan Barnaby Catherine Barnes Shane Bender, Aiden Borden, Kate Bryant. Vincent Cancellieri, Jason Casper, Brandon Chan. Kayla Sipoli, <laughs> Katrin Dansky, <laughs> Diana DiMaggio. Bridget Dunn, <laughs> Teresa Edery, <laughs> Maxwell Feld. Kalea Fitch, <laughs> Angelica Froyo, <laughs> 
Angélique Asset. Caitlin Klaschko. Alexander Harmon. Matthew Harlick. Alyssa Kelleher. Maya Kozowski. Rebecca Lewis. <laughs> Jing Wen Lin. <laughs> Dana Murato. Kyle McCaffrey, Joseph McGowan, Brooke McCowan. Marissa Mobley. <laughs> Kayla Moyer. <laughs> Alexa Nagy. Ashlyn Nolan. <laughs> Hannah O'Connor. <laughs> Kayla Agno. Alexa Olson. Aaron Patel. <laughs> Rohan Patel. Natalie Pierce. <laughs> Emma Petko. <laughs> Christina Portera. Samantha Porto. <laughs> no.
Noel Powers. Victoria Pungello. Corey Pushko. Trevin Rieger. Christian Robert. <laughs> Samuel Russo. Allison Sennis. <laughs> Olivia Scavernina. <laughs> McKenna Stalker. Nicholas Tazi. <laughs> Stephanie Tazi. <laughs> Megan Wagtowitz. Victoria Walsh. <laughs> Thomas Widowski. <laughs> Amber Williams. Philip Williams, and Catherine Yalch. We would now like to honor our senior class officers. We are honored to be here tonight to introduce the six class officers of the class of 2022, our executive board members first. Uh, first off, Eric, or as the students call him, Ibe. He's our Christ class officer with a big heart. He helps out when he can, even with his busy schedule. When he commits to something, he does it all the way, and we, we appreciate his hard work. Okay. Liz, Elizabeth. Liz is bubbly and outgoing. She tried her best to participate in our events, even with multiple sports injuries and physical therapy. She's very creative and artistic, creating many visuals, items like flocking signs, to name a few. We appreciate all her dedications to the class. Phil, Phil, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, are they coming down? Oh, I wasn't, I thought they were coming down. Eric, come on down. eBay. Liz? Is Liz here? Elizabeth? No? I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't see Elizabeth. All right, next, Phil. Phil Williams. 
Phil is a positive role model who always comes up with ideas for fundraisers and how to improve our school spirit. He is upbeat and his sunny disposition makes him a joy to be around. His optimistic outlook on life and his teamwork has helped make this class a success. He's our biggest supporter and defender of our class. Yeah. <laughs> Megan Barna. Also known as Joe Pa's favorite, Megan is a ray of sunshine in our group. Megan always, has always been willing to help out any way she can. She has empathy and thinks about others before herself. She's found a new career as backstage director for shows ever since her Mr. JMHS experience. Megan always volunteers for any event and her personality shines through. Bella. Vice President and Clemson bound, Bella will make me proud of my alma mater. Bella has the sweetest personality and truly cares for others. She's Brooke's right-hand woman, and although quiet, is a true leader. Her teamwork skills with the rest of the officers is unmatched. She's sometimes a nervous Nelly for no reason, because she's able to create and execute anything she puts her mind to. And last but certainly not least, our class president, Brooke McCowan, our fearless leader. What more can be said about Brooke? She truly is a diamond in the rough. She has worked tirelessly the past four years to make the class of 2022 a success. Her school spirit, dedication, and perseverance has made this one of the most successful classes at JMHS. We are very proud that she's learned to delegate through the years, as we know that she will be able to use these leadership skills in the future. We are so unbelievably proud of each and every one of you. You will be truly mess missed. But remember, let's not be sad that it's ending. Let's be glad that it happened. We will never forget the experiences we've shared with you these past four years. Thank you, Mrs. Kafara and Mrs. Musabi, and for your dedication to this fine class. At this time, I would like to ask Mr. Panicu, our athletic director, to come up to present some awards for outstanding athletes. Good evening, everyone. And uh, parents, I, I always like to start off with saying congratulations to you because this night is really about what you've been able to do uh, as parents and, and keep your students involved and have them still be dedicated. There's 70 some odd students here out of 400 and something. So this is an elite group, so you should be proud. So students, do yourself a favor, let your parents be proud. Let them take pictures, let them smile and hug you and do whatever else they do because it's a special moment for them as it is for you. Uh, we give out three awards every year for uh, in the athletic department. Our, our first award is uh, we, the Bernie Ryder Award. Just a little background about uh, Mr. Ryder. Mr. Ryder uh, was a longtime coach, teacher, athletic director, vice principal, principal here at, at Jackson Memorial High School. And he, he really became most popular uh, in the early 70s when he coached our wrestling team, which was, became one of the most uh, it really became a landmark for us. Uh, his, his teams were the best in the, in the state and, and produced, really put Jackson on the map in the early 70s. Uh, Mr. Ryder, though, if you ever met him, um, he had a tremendous impact uh, on his student athletes and there's still grown adults, 60, 70 years old, that see Mr. Ryder and, and still he's Mr. Ryder to them. He's, he's, he's the guy that really helped shape their lives and help them be the people that they are. So it, it, it's, it's an honor for us to, to have this award named for Mr. Ryder. Um, it, we, we pride ourselves in, in having three attributes that we think these student athletes with sportsmanship for the sportsmanship award and Mr. Ryder's award. And that is one is to be a good person is to start out by taking care of yourself, taking care of what you have to do as an athlete, taking care of your grades, taking care of uh, your physical and, and mental health. And then two is to be a great teammate. 
we want, we pride ourselves in not just being a good teammate, but being a great teammate, being there for others and doing all the things that you need to do to, to be a leader. And lastly is to respect the game, is to respect what it's all about. We all want to win, and we know that. That's why we compete. But at the end of the day, the other sort of the individual that you're competing against. They wanted to win, and someone's going to win, someone's going to lose, but at the end of the game, respect the fact that we're all doing this uh, with the same goal in mind. So those are the attributes that we think these two individuals have, have, have definitely have um, two of my favorites. So uh, the first recipient, recipient uh, Michael Rausch. And our second recipient for the Bernie Ryder Award is Brianna Fairchild. Congratulations. The second award that we, we give out every year is our, our Superintendent Scholar Athlete Award. That goes out to the, to the highest achieving academic students that receive varsity letters. Uh, we have two of, the, of the, the top students in our class. It's, it's nice when I go through the list and try to find out. I take the top 10 or top 20 list and find out who the top kids are. And when you see uh, the list of top 20 full of so, full of so many athletes, it, it's, a, it's a credit to your dedication and your, and your commitment and your, and your ability to, to, to do both, to juggle. It, it's phenomenal, especially during these crazy last two years. Uh, so for you to be able to achieve this is, is phenomenal. So uh, the first recipient, Kate Bryant. And our second recipient, Roham Patel. Rohan, you're enjoying that walk. Take nice and slow. It's perfect. Let our <laughs> perfect. Loud and proud. Okay. And our last award is what we call the Don Connor uh, Award. You know, many of you drive down the road every day, Don Connor, um, and may not know why, why that name, why we call it Don Connor Boulevard. Don Connor was a, a, one of our, if I think he was our first super, um, I'm sorry, athletic director. He was an avid, he, he was so pro Jackson and, and was such a, an advocate for our student athletes. He was at every event in the, in the state of New Jersey. He was well known by all the other townships, all the other athletic directors throughout the state. And he really, really prided himself on, on, on the things that you guys are able to to have here with the fields and with and the facilities and the and the, and just all the things that he he promoted are really we, we still have today. I think he may even had created this logo. Um, but but Mr. Connor was was here, was here. Unfortunately, had passed away in 1987. Um, it was a real sad day because it, what he had done for our community and for our athletic programs is is uh, is second to none. So we give out the the top. Uh, male and female athlete um, in, in his name. Um, we, this year, we happen to have two very, uh, really talented athletes who are three sport athletes, and in, in one case, four sport athletes. Um, there aren't too many kids that are playing three different sports and excelling in all three. Um, there, you know, a lot of specialization nowadays, and, and we actually have one athlete who excelled in four sports. Um, so we're real proud of these two individuals and, and well, well, well deserved. Uh, the first recipient, Steve Beto. Congratulations. And our second recipient, Brooke McCown. Congratulations, and um, again, gloat with your kids later. 
It's an awesome time. Mr. Tarver will now present the National Merit Commended Student Award and recognize our students have earned the seal of biliteracy. Good evening. The National Merit Commended Students Award, uh, the National Merit Commended Students Award is granted to students based on their junior year PSAT score as designated by the College Board of the approximate 1.5 million juniors who take the PSAT uh, National Merit Scholarship Qualifying Test. Each year, only 3% qualify for this designation. Uh, congratulations to this year's recipients, Kami Shusha and Rebecca Lewis. The Seal of Bioliteracy is an award given by the New Jersey Department of Education in, recogni in recognition of students who have attained a high level of mastery in two or more languages by high school graduation. This year's recipients are Sophia Carpentiero, <laughs> Kayla Sapuli, <laughs> Jingwen Lin, Charlize Lopez, Manilis Mathiadakis, I hope I pronounced that right, and Alexa Olson. Congratulations to the recipients. Mr. DiGidio will now present some very special awards. Thank you, Ms. Novak. Each month, I have the pleasure to meet some of our top students. Um, we have a faculty panel um, who takes uh, recommendations and resumes of our students. They take a look at um, not only the quality of their schoolwork, but how involved they are in Jackson. They need to be a senior, um, and each month I get to meet with these two seniors of the month. Um, they get to sit down at my desk, and I get to ask them all kinds of questions um, about them. Some of my questions are, who's your favorite teacher? What's your favorite subject? Is there one memory that you will take with you from your time at Jackson Memorial? And then lastly, tell me what your college plans are and your future, future plans. I have to tell you, it's one of my favorite days of the month to meet these fine students. Um, we give them some little awards, put their name in lights, and uh, it's, a, it's a really wonderful, wonderful day. So I'm just going to go through that list um, with you, but we really do appreciate all that, uh, that you have done. Uh, Kate Bryant. <laughs> Vincent Casselari. Jason Casper, Caitlin Glushko, Ryan Cass, Alyssa Kelleher. Rebecca Lewis. <laughs> Isabella Mahabir. <laughs> Joseph McCown. <laughs> Brooke McCown. Kayla Agno, <laughs> Rohan Patel, Christina Quartera, Mr. 
Noelle Powers, Victoria Pungello, Corey Pushko, Christian Robert, Samuel Russo, Nick Tazi, Stephanie Tazi, Amber Williams, and Caitlin Yalich. Congratulations. Our National Recognition Program designee. National Recognition Program designee is an honor bestowed upon students by the College Board Corporation based on selective criteria. Students identified as National Recognition Program designees must demonstrate exemplary academic talents as well as achieve a superior score on the College Board such as the PSAT. This year's recipients go to Ashlyn Nolan and Rebecca Lewis. Our last award of the night, it's called the Principal's Leadership Award. Um, it was established some 11 years ago when I came to, um, from McAuliffe Middle School to be the principal here. And I thought we needed one award at Academics Nights that, that exemplifies leadership throughout the school. And if anybody understands the position of leadership, um, the pressure that comes with it, and a lot of times leadership becomes situ situational. It's not always the same particularly in the time that we're coming out of and trying to restart our school environment, we would have conversations throughout the summer. How can we get back to normal? Because Jackson Memorial is far from a normal place. It's a place where over the years it's been known as a power school throughout the state of New Jersey. We're good at everything that we do. If you've been to our plays, you've seen quality products. If you've been with our band, our band marches all over the United States and the country. Our sports teams speak for themselves. Our academic scholars, whether Ivy League or the best tier one colleges in the country, Jackson Memorial has produced. So for us to be in that rut that was COVID over those two years, I get it. It was hard on everybody. But it was particularly hard on our staff and our administrative team on how to rebuild this and get the restart going. And I have to tell you, there was one person always had a smiling face would meet with me most days around 10 o'clock to talk about the latest plan. She had a lot of plans. And I have to tell you, many of the new traditions that were started this year were so healthy for the mental health of our students. Something to be part of. I can remember joining the parents in the parking lot on that really hot day in August when we started to paint those parking spots. And a funny story about that, because this individual came to me her sophomore year and wanted to paint parking spots. And I couldn't get our director of grounds to come on board with me. I talked to Ms. Permelli about it. We were back and forth. She was so persistent. I appreciate that. It's such a strong characteristic, a great leadership characteristic. It's why she's been so successful, and I can't wait to watch her in the future with all of her successes. A wonderful young woman with a bright future, Brooke McGowan. In closing, I'd like to introduce our final speaker of the evening, Ms. Megan Barna, one of our class, senior class executive board members, to bid farewell on behalf of the senior class. Meg.
On behalf of the senior class, I would like to thank my fellow classmates, families, staff and administration of Jackson Memorial High School for joining us tonight. The class of 2022 faced many challenges with attending school through the COVID-19 pandemic. We had a very unusual high school experience with virtual learning, schedule changes, and much more. With these many obstacles we faced, I am proud to say that our class persevered through this unexpected time and made the best of the last two years, still creating some of the most fondest memories. Tonight, we celebrated the academic success of all the attendees and what you have accomplished within the last four years. In the next chapter of our lives, I know our class will continue to be successful with what they further pursue. Good luck in all of your future endeavors, and congratulations again on this outstanding achievement. Thank you, and have a wonderful evening. Thank you, Megan. This concludes tonight's celebration. We encourage everyone to stay and take lots of pictures. Congratulations once again. Have a wonderful evening.